hello friends hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss our first program the java program uh, like count the number of strings count the occurrence of word in a sentence okay so if you haven't uh, gone through this video i'll suggest you to just look at these number of programs these are very basic 10 java programs which every qa engineer should know and uh, like just comment down how many were you able to solve okay and i am starting from the first one and <clears throat> let me like before starting let me tell you that uh, the count of occurrence in a word can be done in two ways so either uh, you can find the word or like you can count like one by one okay so we will discuss both the ways and uh, i have created this very basic structure and uh, I have created this uh, package basic and in that let me create a new java class and the first one is the um, occurrence of word um, don't ask again cancel okay we have to create our main method after this okay so let us define a string i love my india this is the string so in the first like uh, this is the first program so in which what we can do is that let's take a word and see that whether this word is in this uh, sentence or not so sentence will be more appropriate and <clears throat> firstly we will take the positive scenarios so let's say we have to find love in this sentence okay and if it is a match if, if it will match then it will return one otherwise it will return false okay and after after that we will uh, like in the 1.1 so uh, how i am going to like design this video is that like this is the first first video okay so Mm. count the occurrence of word in a sentence okay i hope this spelling is correct occurrence looks good okay so let us uh, define our method which we, uh, which will <coughs> do the magic so let us say occurrence and in this we will pass the sentence as well as the word okay and yeah so intellij has created this method for us and can anyone tell me why this method is private and not public just comment down below if you know if you know the answer okay so what we can do is that we have to break the sentence uh, so that we can get each and every word here okay so for this uh, we can take this and in sentence we can split it so we have this function split method which uh, like this is a string and based on the spaces so what will be the output here is that it will contain a string array and what is inside the array is i love my india right now so this method will split this sentence based on the the spaces okay <clears throat> and now we have to put a counter which will count if uh, love is coming one or twice and after that we can put a for loop and this for loop will run till the end of sentence sentence dot dot length and if like word equals uh, we have like this temp dot i
then we can increase the counter so what we are doing here is that if the word which we are trying to search if it if it is if it matches um, any of these then we are going to increase the counter and after that like this for loop will end here so i i am using this rainbow brackets so it will easy for me to see and we can return the count okay why is it giving me the error because this is void so what kind of uh, variable is count it is int okay i hope it should fix yeah and now we have to catch uh, this count here so what i hope you can uh, listen to the background music <laughs> and let me print the count so count is count so let me test it and uh, this is my string we are searching for this love and let's see uh, whether it is working fine or not if i run um, what happened okay we have to do this on this yeah it should work now yeah the count is one okay and now let us try to add one more love and see if it is returning two yeah this is two sorry for the background music and one more thing which i would like to discuss is uh, let's say we are searching for this love like this is capital and now it should return zero yeah and so what we have to do is let's say this is love and this is love okay uh, this one and this will match with this and it will return one but we want to return two because uh, we have to ignore the cases so for that what we can do is that um, like these are very basic interview questions because once you write the code they will ask you to like uh, improve it and like these are the questions which are generally asked so there is a already method written sentence to lower case i guess yeah so this is a method yeah so now it should return like it will lower case the entire string and after that it will return to yeah it's working working correctly so that's it and uh, in the next uh, video what we can discuss is that uh, like we will return um, through hash map so what it will do is that it will print uh, the i1 love is coming one like love is coming two in this case and my is coming once so this um, kind of program okay and the reason why we are selecting hash map for that is that let's say uh, this is a string sentence okay and uh, like each and everything is a string and as we know that hash map is a key value pair okay that we will discuss in the next lecture that uh, like in the value we can take an integer and uh, like keep on uh, adding that integer into the uh, let's say if it if it encounters i then like it will search into the entire string whether the i has come once or not if not like um, increase it through once otherwise like return it okay so that we will discuss in the next lecture i hope uh, you are able to now solve this thanks guys